if you're really struggling to find a consistent Instagram theme because you have no idea how to create that consistent editing style, then this is for you because this editing way that I have found, I couldn't believe that it was that simple. I really couldn't. What's up YouTube, I'm Millie. Today we are going to be going over how to create your own consistent feel on Instagram. This is something that I've been struggling with for the longest time and I still struggle with. I still go back and forth on different styles that I like and styles I don't like. When I first started Instagram, I had no idea how to do that and all of my photos looked incredibly different and it was super frustrating because I had no idea how to create this magical Instagram theme that everybody seems to have except for me. So let me start by saying I am nowhere near an expert at this, but I did discover a super duper easy hack to find a way to edit photos that is more you. Whenever I would look up YouTube videos on like how to edit photos for Instagram, all the videos that I found were people sharing how they edited their own photos and how they edited their feed. And I wanted something that taught me how to find... <sighs> Sorry. I wanted to find something that was like, this is how to create a general aesthetic and this is how you can find an aesthetic that works for you. Not everybody's editing style works for everyone, so those videos didn't really help me out that much. I did come across one YouTube video. This was a while ago, so I forgot who it was, but I'll go find it and link it below so I'm giving them credit. And they just like casually dropped this tip in their video and I was like, wait, this is a thing? This is so easy. Why have I never known about this? This was the one thing that made everything click for me. So I really want to share this with you guys. I know it'll help so many people, whether you're brand new to Instagram or you've been here for forever and you just want to change your theme up. Okay, so let's just jump right in, get straight to the point here. I'm going to be screen recording on my phone so that you guys can look along with what I'm doing. Just ignore all the red notification things. I'm sure it'll give some of you guys OCD and anxiety, uh, but just pretend they're not there, okay? We're only going to be alternating between two apps today. The first one you wanna make sure you have is Visco, VSCO. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna say Visco because it's faster. Um, so Visco is an app that you want to have downloaded. As soon as you download the app, just upload 12 photos that you feel represent you pretty well that you would put onto your Instagram. So you can have like a general feel of what your Instagram feed would look like with the presets that we're going to create. To add them, you just press the plus sign on the top right and you just add those 12 photos. There's two ways to move forward with editing using this process. You can keep the free version, that's totally fine. However, what I did, I did upgrade Visco and I did purchase the membership. I don't remember what it's called, but I consider this being a business investment for my personal brand and I want to grow my personal brand to the fullest ability that I can so that is why I chose to upgrade and invest the money into this app. If you don't have the money that is okay there is a free way to do this so keep watching. I'm going to show both. It'll be super easy either way. Let's keep going. The next step we're going to hop into is Pinterest. I know you're thinking Pinterest, hmm why Pinterest? Oh that's gorgeous. In Pinterest, what you're going to do, you're going to search and you are going to type in Visco themes. Um, and this is where the differences between the free and the purchase version come in. If you choose the free app, you are limited on presets. So just be sure to search free when going onto Pinterest. That way you only are presented with the free options. For me, since I did upgrade, I want to find anyone that best fits my aesthetic or what I want my aesthetic to look like. I could search Visco themes. And it's going to show you how to edit using the presets that's on their apps and create a consistency throughout your photos. And I think that is amazing. I had no idea about this hack and... Mm. So just by scrolling through, I definitely see a few that I'm like, ooh, yes, definitely love this, definitely love this. But what you can do, you can actually narrow it down even more depending on what you want. For me, I love the warm vibes, the vintage vibes. So I'm gonna search the Visco themes. Um, we'll look vintage 
and I'm going to use one of these to kind of uh, play with a little bit. Let's try this guy. This is kind of rose gold and my feed right now has a little bit of a rose gold theme going. This one's obviously in another language, but it's okay, we'll figure it out. This one is telling you to use the filter C8 at the full volume of 12. So let's go in and edit this one. Let's find C8. That one might be a free one. Don't quote me on that. C8. Um, if you tap it again, it'll give you that ball to toggle with. Um, it does say to use the max 12, so that's what we're going to do. C8 12 exposure 1 plus 1 saturation down 3 saturation down to 3 temperature plus 2 which temperature can be found in the white balance plus 2 um, grain plus three. I'm just guessing that's what it's translating to. And then tone of skin. There's a skin tone one. So we're going to bring that skin tone down to three. You know, that's embarrassing if I'm wrong. Okay, so I'm kind of already seeing the rose gold vibes. You could hold it down for before and after. What you're going to do now, you're going to save this photo. And then you're going to press the three dots on the bottom right to copy those edits and paste them onto all of the photos you have downloaded. So let me do that. Select them and paste edits everywhere. Ta-da! So now I can see that if I use this on every photo, this is what my Instagram theme is going to look like. Of course, if I love the general feel and I love the general coloring of the photo but there's some tweaks that i want to make you can definitely customize based upon your preference what you can do moving forward you can look at the overall feed and be like wow i really love this let me change the blues a little bit i'm not a fan of the blues so find a photo that has too much of those blues and play with them a little bit you can play with the blues if you have the purchased one um right here hsl let me go to blue and do I want more blue or more teal? Um, I have a teal one. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it like that, just for more like vintagey vibes. I don't think that bold blue is my my thing. So that's a little bit better. Let me save that here and copy, paste on everything else. See what it looks like everywhere else. Paste edits. There we go. Oh yeah, much better. And then you just kind of keep going in and out, back and forth to whatever you think will fit your feed the best. And with this, you can actually save it as your own preset. So I'll show you how to do that. And um, you go back to the editing and under the little like rotation, the little rotating arrow, you just press the plus sign and that will add it as a preset. And then you could just apply to every single photo that you're creating through Visco. And yeah, and that's basically it. I personally love this new hack that I discovered because it's really customizable per your, your liking. You don't have to edit the way anybody else edits. You can play around with all of these inspired themes and pick something that really speaks to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. I'm thinking the next video, I'll go into all of the apps that I use for editing, for your feed, for your stories, all the apps that I use to help my Instagram and editing and posting. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped you because it was a breakthrough moment for me and I really hope you guys have that breakthrough moment. If you do find a new theme, I'd love for you guys to show me on Instagram. So my Instagram is it's Modern Millie. Screenshot your feed and tag me in it. I would love to see that. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend that you think might need some of these hacks in their life. If you're excited to see some more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe. Comment down below some of the other tips and tricks that you've found, maybe something that I don't know about yet, and I would love to hear those tips and tricks and kind of create a little collaborative environment in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I really hope this video was helpful for you because it was helpful for me, let me just say. All right guys, that is about it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep following your joy and I'll see you next time. Bye.
just as the camera was about to die. 